She makes me feel so good. <laughs> she makes me feel so cool. I want to be her best friend. Congratulations on Spencer. Your performance in this blew me away. It's truly incredible. I've also had I Need a Miracle stuck in my head for two days straight. <laughs> I've had it stuck in my head for like eight months. So. I'm not surprised. It's a classic though. Um, we see how kind of trapped Diana felt by the royal family. When you became famous, what was kind of the hardest thing for you to grasp? I mean, I think as, as a young person, uh, kind of still developing, um, I like en energetically, it's kind of an overwhelming thing, but I never felt like I had to um, uphold any ideals or I never had to be an example for anyone. Whereas Diana's, you know, she was in a position where she couldn't be her true self because of very specific reasons, obviously. And so like the feeling that she wasn't being conveyed or that she wasn't, uh, being seen as she felt like invisible is something that I never had to had to endure. I was always allowed to make mistakes and choices and do it all in public. And that's like kind of intense, but there's something very different about the muzzling and um, the sort of changing yourself and hiding that she had to do. I didn't have to hide um, in, that, in that way. Uh, the fervor and the intensity also is like clearly like no comparison to be, to be, the wife of the future king, like that's a completely different position to be in. And so it's like embarrassing to compare it, but I do know the feeling of people, uh, I do know the feeling of thinking that people are always looking at you, even maybe if they're not. Mommy. <laughs> Family are all gathered in the drawing room. They are waiting. Three days, that's it. You must be a Diana expert now. Was there a particular scene where you felt most connected to her? I think I felt most connected to her whenever she was with her kids. She always is kind of an undeniable force, even when she's not well. Um, in, in all the interviews that she's kind of cryptically reaching out and, and describing how she feels but not articulating it, I feel her immensely all the time. But when she feels the most embodied and the most whole is when she's just around her kids. Like that's. To be a mother is such an unconditional, positively sure thing. That was the one thing she knew. Everything else was ambiguous. Everything else was, um, she didn't know what was real. There was a lot of, you know, um, disparate truth. Uh, but whenever she was with them, it was solid like a rock. And uh, yeah, so that's always whenever they were with her and, and they could feel like this little, you know, nucleus, um, that's when it felt the most real to me, just the most uh, confident, something you could really hang your hat on. Yeah, she just seemed like she was the best mum. I know. Fight them. You are your own weapon. There's a moment in the film where Maggie tells Diana that she's her own weapon. Um, I was wondering what's kind of the best piece of advice you've been given by someone in the industry before? I don't know. <laughs> uh, or the worst. Right. Well, I mean, actually speaking to like, just to keep it like fully on topic, like, I've been told so many times if if interviews make you nervous or you know just go play a character go be somebody else I I, I, I don't understand what that even means I don't it's not a po it's not possible um, I know some people think that they do it but I'm like you're still you bro like I can still see you um, so yeah I think that that's a really that was a really common uh, bit of advice that I. Didn't, it's not that I didn't want to take it. I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't understand what that meant. You have to be able to do things you hate. You hate. There has to be two of you. It's the real one <laughs> and the one they take pictures of. Diana was so adored by everyone and you've got the most incredible fans. I was wondering what's the most surreal fan encounter you've had or the most memorable one? I mean, I've had some, <laughs> I've had some scary ones uh, that are memorable. Um, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, but I, hmm. So Olivia Sias is a director that I've worked with a couple of times and he's a dear friend and I just admire him so much and, and look up to him so much. He has a, a daughter, I think who's like 11 now. Maybe she's like not, she's either nine or 11, but she's not 10. I know that sounds weird. She's very little and she's like, she loves me. <laughs> that to me is, she is, she looks just like him. She's so smart. She's shy, but like just has like such cool presence. 
She makes me feel so good. <laughs> she makes me feel so cool. I want to be her best friend. <laughs>